So today, we got our Victron Energy Blue Power Dongle for our VE Connect. And it's actually for right here for this port. So we got this off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. And uh, basically comes with the dongle. Instructions in many languages. And also a reference V Direct and Bluetooth Smart Dongle where you can go and go on to that with your computer. So we're going to try, we've never used a, uh, a Victron Blue Dongle before. So we're going to try and hook it up for the first time. And we're going to go to our, let's see if I can get this. We're going to go to our apps and you're going to look up uh, the Victron Connect on here and then you're going to download that. It doesn't take that long. There we go. Open it up and okay it's gonna ask us what we like to find and connect to the device before we do that we're gonna go ahead and plug this uh dongle in and we're gonna use this right here the plug to plug into the port right here now this is only going to go in one way and it looks like, oops, I don't know if you can see on there or not, but there's kind of like two little ridges on the top there. And it looks like it just plugs in right there. So, oops. So we have this right here where it's blinking blue. And we're going to go back to our screen here. And we're going to say allow to connect and would like to use Bluetooth. Okay. And it actually discovered it. So we're going to click on it. Kind of hard to do. We're going to click on that. It's connecting. And for this, when you go to pair, it's just going to be six zeros to do, and it'll let you change the password later. Okay, so right now, uh, we're going to not change the pin right now. So, sorry. Right now, it is showing it's only using four watts, 120 volt output, and our battery is at 53.47 on there. So if we click up here on our settings, we can see that we have the mode and it's either off economy or on. And we're just gonna leave it on. Uh, output voltage is 120. If we clicked on that, it would allow us to change it if we got a different one with a different plug. Right now we have the 120 volt plugs on it. Uh, with a GFI on that. So, also you can change your hertz from 60 to 50. We're gonna leave it on, oops. Gonna leave it on 60 there. And then your dynamic cutoff, we're not gonna use that. Low battery is set at 39 volts. Uh, low battery restart and alarm is 43.6. Charge detect is 56 volts. You can change all of these settings. So you can go through there and you can change these things. You just have to click on them. And then if you don't want to change it, just hit the back arrow right there. Uh, low battery, it'll allow you to go in here and do, oops. Low battery, it'll allow you to change this. And if you just put your finger on there, it'll allow it to go quick. Try and make sure you can see that. I'm not sure if you can or not. But it will go quick. Okay, so we're going to set that at 40 volts. 
and then all you do is click OK, and now it's been changed. So it's really easy to do. Um, only took a couple of minutes. Oops. OK, we're going to store the settings. So whenever you change a setting on there, it puts a little check mark next to it that you changed it. So it's pretty much it. You can X out of this and go back. Now we're going to take, and this is this inverter. You can see that the Bluetooth is on on there. There's an error, um, an error thing right here for the red that would be blinking. And then you can clear the pin on that dongle. So we can go back in there later. It'll keep reminding us that um, we need to change our pin code to something else so nobody else can get into it. But we are going to start up that mini split right up here and see what the screen says on here. So we got a remote. We'll go ahead and turn that on. It's on, we're gonna set the temperature. And make sure we're low enough on our temperature. Okay, it's at 73, we set our temperature to 67. Now, oops, if we look on there, it's connecting and it's showing on our screen that we're at 280, it's going up, it's almost 304. Okay, so our watts are going up and we can see that now, when we have a shunt on order that we're gonna be putting on, we can put it on any of these things. We'll also be able to use the uh, Victron Direct app um, to be able to look at that because when you go in here, uh, set this down for a second. When you go back in here, you can go into this menu right here and you can go into the demo library and this is all the stuff that you can use with the Bluetooth. So there are quite a bit of um, products you can use. So when we get that, it'll recognize it just like this. Now see right here, also on this screen, it's showing that our voltage is at 53.16. We're using 591 watts, 592. It's inverting and then we can, that's telling you the just that information right there. So we can actually hit on that, it'll connect. And then we are, we're at 603, uh, 618, and it keeps going up. We're not gonna change our pin now. So it keeps telling us our battery status over here. We have no solar or anything hooked up. We are just running that mini split up there with these two EG4LL batteries and just this Phoenix 48 volt, 1200 watt inverter. So no solar, you can see that cables hooked up right here. They go over here. We got our cord right here, the yellow cord. And that's coming in that wall down there. That's connected to there. So. This is um, actually for a motorhome, but I just wanted to show you, actually, now we're up to uh, 1,015, 16 amps, I mean, watts, 1,024 watts. And I'm not sure if you can hear this at all, but that is really close to that. Can you hear how quiet that is? It is extremely quiet. Now, whenever this one's running, that one, it is loud when you're running a, a big load on there, but we're pretty much, we're at 1,026 right there. We're in the yellow, 1,200 watts is the max here. And this is hardly making any noise whatsoever. I am really impressed by how quiet that is. So if we were to take 
and take our remote and turn it off. Oops, there we go. Turn it off. You'll see that our watts just drop. Pretty neat. So your phone is your actually display screen for a lot of your Victron um, um, products. Now this is a pure sine wave inverter. This thing, if you were to put this thing in the econo mode over here, put it over there, that would only use about two watts while it's in econo mode. But if we wanted to just have it on, it's only going to use around 10 watts in just standby mode, idle mode. Now that's really, really low. This thing uses like 100, 150 watts per hour while it's running. When I run loads overnight in the summertime, I run my main air conditioner. That is a lot. Same thing with that. This uses around 50 watts and this uses around 75 to 100 watts if I run these overnight. That's per hour. So at 10 watts, idle consumption is extremely low. So if I run this thing for 12 hours, I'm saving myself um, at least 40 watts. At 10 hours, that's 400. At 12 hours, that's 480 watts. And when this thing gets the temperature set in the motorhome, it'll drop down to about two to 400 watts. So if it's down to 200 watts, that's like almost an extra two and a half hours of runtime that I have running that mini split in the motorhome. So pretty nice little deal. These uh, instructions were real easy to use. They um, come in several different languages. There's a scan code down here that you can do instead of going onto your app. And they have it for the uh, iPhone or the um, um, other uh, phones. But really pretty easy to use and like i said when you first go to connect this it's going to ask you for a password and the basic password for a lot of these is six zero so it's just going to be zero 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 for your password then it'll allow you to change that later on so pretty good deal just wanted to show that to you i really it's my second victron product that i've bought and I paired it up with this, and I really like it. Pretty easy to use. Most other apps I do for Bluetooth or uh, Wi-Fi have not ever hooked up this easy. So, <laughs> really impressed with this. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I'll put links in the description for these products. Um, a lot of the products you see over here. And we are an affiliate with uh, Signature Solar. And um, anytime you click on the link and purchase something, we get a small percentage of the sale. We do have to buy the products, but we do get a percentage of the sale. And that helps us to keep buying new products and testing them and sharing them with you on how easy or how hard it is to run things, whether there's problems, if it just is flawless, whatever it is. But we let you know. And you know, we're testing this out to use in our motor home along with that same exact mini split. And this is going to be a backup to this. So during the day, we'll run this with solar so we can keep our batteries charged. And at nighttime, we'll switch over. And we actually have like a, a plug like this on our uh, mini split in the motor home. So we can easily, um, we'll have a plug like this off of this inverter that we can plug it into and then at nighttime we can just plug it into this phoenix inverter which is going to use very little power at all overnight when it's in idle mode so any questions please don't hesitate i usually answer pretty quickly within minutes to hours and um, let me know your comments Hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day and extremely blessed 2024.